Skin consists of two basic layers. The epidermis, a superficial thin layer composed of epithelial tissue, and the dermis, a deeper thick layer composed primarily of connective tissue. When the skin is damaged, the type of healing process that occurs depends on the depth of the injury. An epidermal wound, such as a minor abrasion or minor burn, does not penetrate the dermis. Here, healing is a simple process in which surrounding basal epidermal cells multiply and migrate across the wound until it is covered. A dermal wound, however, penetrates the dermis and involves multiple tissue layers. The healing process is different and more complex than epidermal healing and occurs in three phases. The first phase involves hemostasis and inflammation. Here, fibrin and blood platelets form a loose blood clot to prevent further blood loss. The damaged tissue causes release of histamine, which triggers vasodilation and increases the permeability of the blood vessels. This, in turn, increases the delivery of white blood cells, which help remove microbes and foreign particles via phagocytosis. Two or three days later, the proliferation and migratory phase begins. In the initial portion of this phase, the clot exterior dries, forming a scab. Fibroblasts infiltrate the wound and secrete collagen to strengthen the clot. Fibroblasts also trigger the endothelial cells surrounding the wound to proliferate and injured blood vessels to start regrowing. These cells form a delicate mesh known as granulation tissue. The third and final phase is the maturation and remodeling phase, which may last between three weeks to six months. The scab sloughs off, collagen fibers become more organized, and fewer fibroblasts are present. The blood vessels are restored to normal. Finally, scar tissue forms by a process called fibrosis. The scar tissue differs from normal skin in that it has a denser arrangement of collagen fibers and a reduced elasticity.